What's up, YouTube? We're here with another video. So I know I said I was gonna upload a video saying like how to put the STI wing on, but it turned out to be a lot more difficult than I thought. And we worked on it at my buddy's house for like, I feel like three hours or something. I got there about eight o'clock. I left about 11, 11.30. So I mean, we were there for a while messing with it, but um, we ended up getting it because, I'll show you in a second, but we just, I'll, I'll explain once we get out to my car, but I do got a package here and I'm pretty excited because I know what it is. I already opened it. I'm sorry, you guys, but here is another part for my car that I'm really happy to get. Let's check it on out. All right, guys, so here it is. As you can see, I already opened it. I just, with the Christmas coming in, I wanted to make sure it wasn't like a Christmas gift my mom ordered for us or anything like that, but this is from Amazon. Uh, I just opened it. I wanted to make sure it was what I needed, and well, let's just get on to it, so. What could it be? It is in fact, that's right, red rally armor mud flaps. So as you can see, they're rally armor. Stands for an 02 through 07 Super WRX STI RS 2.5 I blah, 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 blah. But I got the red because my car is black. I figured red and black's a really good combo, and there's all the hardware to install it. Here's the instructions, which actually look like they're uh, pretty detailed instructions, so I'm pretty hyped. Because I've seen videos of people with these that did not know what the hell they were doing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing, I'm definitely gonna be doing an installing video on this because I feel I can get that done by myself. But let's go out to my car and check out the wing real quick. All right, guys, so we're outside, it's like 20 degrees, and I'm in shorts and a hoodie. It's really, really cold, so let me unlock my car and I'll get to showing you what's up. installed on my car got that nice little Subaru rumble but if you pop this up you'll see right here where we had to cut it and cut it right there and we drilled more holes for the secondary bolts we only had this thing bolted down with four bolts but she ain't gonna go nowhere and if you look here Here's a wire for the third brake light. We did cut the other one so we couldn't take it apart, but I just got to crimp it and put it together on there, but I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, there she is. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna tell you the story now since you saw what I was trying to explain earlier. All right, guys, so we're back inside and I would have told you outside, but it's like 20 degrees. It's like freezing out there. I'm really cold right now. Just because I got out the shower and my hair's a little wet, but um, yeah, so basically I took it to my buddy Nick's house Cause he has a WRX and he said he could help me out. So we go over there, we take the stock wing off and um, we, uh, my buddy Carl and PJ meets us there. And there's this other guy there, uh, Nick's friend, I think his name was Jake or Paul. If you watch this video, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. But I do appreciate your help, thank you very much. But uh, we start going through it, we take the uh, stock wing off and then we put together the STI wing and then I made out a template kind of, but it didn't really work out because it was a little too wide because I didn't do it like perfect, I guess. So with the four holes we're gonna do it with, we put them on, we took Nick's mom's nail polish, put it on the bolts, and then just pressed it down on the car to mark it, which then we took a little uh, screwdriver and, knot and hammer and just knocked a little indent in all four spots. And then we uh, drilled them through. It was first time drilling through my trunk. Um, I didn't mind it. I just didn't know what the hell I was doing, so I messed it up a little bit, but it's totally fine. It's bolted down, not going nowhere. So uh, yeah, we'd get that done. Nick helped me out with all four of them. Thank you very much, by the way, Nick. And then um, we just couldn't, uh, in the inside where I showed you where you had to cut it, we didn't have anything to cut it with. We didn't have any uh, step drill or step drill bits, and we didn't have any like little angle grinders or anything that could cut that metal. So he said he can help me out Sunday possibly, but today I was hanging out with my buddy Wyatt and his brother Alex, 
and they helped me out with it. They actually, um, we were at White's uh, house and his dad had some tools and Alex helped me cut it out and then helped me uh, put it in and bolt it on and he said he helped me with the wiring later. Or Carl said he helped me with the wiring later. Whoever does that, I'd uh, appreciate it very much and I just wanna say how thankful I am for my friends because without them, I wouldn't be able to do this because a total of like five hours been spent putting this wing on, which other videos I've watched took like five or 10 minutes, which I don't know how, I guess it's, all the editing they did that they didn't show. They don't talk about the time, but um, yeah. So I just wanna say huge shout out to Nick, uh, Paul or Jake, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, I really am. Carl, PJ, Alex, Wyatt, and Wyatt's dad, Terry, for um, lending me the tools and helping me out and helping me learn something, really, because I didn't know what I was doing, and so it's a learning experience. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know, we got the STI wing installed, it looks sick. I love it, this car's coming along slowly and piece by piece, which is really all I can do at this point. But um, I got the stock wing, and actually, I'm gonna throw my Snapchat at the end of this video. If anyone is interested, they can uh, hit me up and I'll sell it to them $100 OBO. It has the brake light, nothing's wrong with it. It's a little scratched up, but it is an OEM. Uh, WRX wing that could fit an O2 through O7 WRX or STI if you wanted to do that. I wouldn't know why you would, but um, you get what I'm saying. Let me show you that real quick. So you can see there's a lot of scratches on it, a lot of fingerprints, but a nice buff will uh, fix that right up. And literally nothing wrong with it. I mean, just don't really need it no more. Don't plan to put that car back to stock for any reason at all. So if you want it, I'll have to throw my snatch it down at the end of the video and Hit me up with a reasonable offer and we can get it to you. And as for the mud flaps go, I'm gonna install them tomorrow. And then I'll also be able to um, go try to maybe get the wiring done. But the only thing besides the wing that we need to get done is we need some like caulk or something to caulk those holes where the old WRX wing sat just in case a little moisture gets under the wing. I don't want to, um, you know, have it leak through the trunk or rust the trunk itself. So. We're going to do that. I'll probably make a little video about that if I can, or about the wiring, but we'll see how it goes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, a comment down below, and remember to subscribe for more content. Got the mud flaps coming up soon. Going to show off the wing tomorrow in the daytime and try to get the wiring and the caulking done. And then I'm making this video a little shorter. It's kind of getting a little early out because I'm going duck hunting in the morning with my neighbor, and I am excited to hopefully put a new duck on my wall. As you can see my canvas back right there and I got a wood duck in my room. But um, yeah, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. If you wanna share this video with your friends, family, anybody, I'd really appreciate it. I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers right now. And anything I, that you guys give me is always appreciated. I love you guys with all my heart. I'm just trying to do my thing, hopefully make it big on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, peace out.